So we finished up at the Dane County Humane Society thrift store and we are heading over to a pet store now. We're going to a PetSmart. Um, we got some pretty good finds. Uh, I got uh, kind of this pillow. We'll see if it works for Arlo. I'm not 100% sure it'll work, but it's worth a try um, because as soon as he gets his thing off I'm sure that if it's still in pain after the surgery he'll be licking at it so we want to make sure he doesn't do that but not 100% sure so we'll have to see but I got this and you know there's a couple other things that we got so we're heading over to the pet store now to do some training and then we will probably head somewhere for lunch or something like just like a later lunch and then we will maybe go jelly cat hunting so we'll have to see. Okay, now walk back in front of the adoption center and let's see what he does. Walk back in front of the adoption center and let's see what he does.
Fireball's the trainer, everybody. Be sit. sit. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was crazy stupid. What happened? So we ordered at McDonald's, right? And we pull up to the window where we pay, and he goes, and I hand him the card, and we're telling him what order it is, and he goes, What's your order? He says it after we already said what we ordered. So I took the card back because I didn't want him to like charge us for someone else's meal. I'm like, what do you mean? What order? He's like, well, I can't charge you if I don't know what you ordered. I'm like, we just told you. Yikes. We tried saying it like three times and he kept talking over us. And then we got to the window where we get our food and they didn't know what we were there for either. When they were about to give me my food, they like took it away and like ran back with it. So, and it's not like it's two o'clock. It's not like it's like noon and it's lunchtime and everybody's here. It's a little later than that. So, yikes! Frustrating. Okay, so we got food and then we stopped in at Michael's because we had to pick something up. Now we are heading over to the Mounds Pet Store so that we can train a little bit over there before we head home. Okay, look what we just found. So, this looks exactly like my jelly camp back home. Just without soft. It's not that soft, and it's supposedly a different brand, and it's a dog toy, apparently. But it looks just like And that's another one. Jelly that's, cats. That's an amusable. Some of those look like the bashfuls, but definitely not that much. But the octopus has little things on the side. The of octopus, the yeah, the octopus looks the same as the jelly cats. But so someone better contact Corporate. The avocado, like what? Even some of these guys look similar. Like what? Crazy, 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 crazy. Yes! 
Do you see that? He's looking at me though. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty, oh my god. She looks like Lexi, but without the anxiety. You sure you don't want a Dolby service dog? Toby. Good job. Yes. Do a good job. Yes. We just got done at Mounds. My hair is wild. Do you have a good time, Toby? You saw another dog. We did, we saw another doggy. So we got a couple things. I got some stuff from the raw bar there. They had like cod skin, that kind of stuff. So I got some of that. I also got in here, there's a set of dog boots um, for outside because it's been raining. We have boots obviously, but the ones that we have are like two velcro on each thing and just to let him out that seems like a lot to do and i've been doing it for a little bit but it's annoying so i think it'll be easier just to put those little socks Sunshine. on him the other thing that's in here is a little joint brace so that when arlo is all done with his splint i can just use this little brace and that'll be helpful for the first couple like rehabilitation sessions that we do michaela got some stuff she also got some stuff from the raw bar she got some chicken necks and a yeah. salmon skin. Some of the bark box toys were uh, clearance. on clearance. So we she got this little metal thing and this rabbit. rabbit. And then she also got at the thrift store, she found this ball rope toy. Arlo has one that Toby really likes. So I thought that would be convenient. And then we also found this glove. She's been trying to do little massages with Toby, so we think that this would be really helpful for that. And then we also found this at the thrift store. It's a pet hub, which is one of those little tags that you can put on the dog's collar. And then it has a little identification tag. That way, that way they can scan it and find the dog really easily. So that's basically everything that we got. Then, you know, when we were in Mounds, we did see another dog, so we were able to do a little bit of training. The, the guy was really nice and let us kind of um, train around her, so that was really nice, and she was really sweet. That's what we did. How do you feel like it went? Uh, it went good. I think he's a little calmer just being around the dogs. A little. Yeah, just a little. The so. whole time. I think that he's doing a lot more active focusing, which is good. Yeah, a lot. Right. So. But that's what we want. Yes. We so. We want him to focus all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think that it was a pretty good training session. Um, now we are basically just on heading the home. Road again. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and I will see you guys in whatever we make next.